I'm pretty much uh, set on doing what I said I would do, and that is um, he needs to come clean with the people of this state. There's obviously something in those tax records or he would have released them uh, by now. Uh, you know, my tax records are all out there. And simply release your taxes and we can have a good old debate. Gromer, I would hope that you as a uh, principled ethical journalist would want to know what <laughs> this man was doing when he was the Deputy Secretary of Energy. I mean, there are some clear questions out there about the uh, dealings that uh, uh, he had during that period of time. And you know, down the road is not the time to learn about whether or not you bought a lemon of a car. You know, get Carfax. <laughs> you know, uh, one of the silliest things I ever heard that he's setting a deadline for himself <laughs> uh, because he thinks that the press will play that story. The fact is that I'm willing to debate Rick Perry. He doesn't want to debate or appear before editorial boards because he doesn't want to be, be accountable for things like the $18 billion budget hole. I've made far more financial disclosures than Rick Perry has. I hope that Rick Perry will understand that debates are done not as a favor to the other candidate, but as a service to the public. And that it's for the hosts of debates, the hosts of debates, to determine the terms and, you know, basic conditions for inviting the candidates is not for the candidates to impose on other candidates the terms of those candidates' participation. That's a basic principle that is very important.